Finally, we have Claude from Anthropic in 95 countries, not just the US and UK. Claude from Anthropic is a ChatGPT competitor and it has been only available within US and UK. I mean, you could have used it with VPN, but still it was a big pain. And right now they've expanded it to 95 countries and let's look at Claude and I'm going to also quickly show you a demo of Claude and why you should use Claude over ChatGPT. First of all, Claude is available in 95 countries. All you have to do is go to Claude.ai and then see the list of countries. You can, you know, you can just try to sign up and then it is available. So you can see Albania, Algeria, Australia, Argentina, a lot of countries like Philippines and you also see Japan and where I live, India. And you, you know, you just get to see like a bunch of countries available. I don't see a lot of European countries to be honest. Like for example, I was looking for Germany. I could not see Germany. I was looking for Turkey. I could not see Turkey. I was looking for France. I could not see France. So it's probably due to the data privacy protection in the Europe. So maybe it is still not available in the Europe, but I think it has been released to a lot of African countries, uh, South American countries, and also like Indian, Indian countries, uh, Indian countries also Asian countries. So anyways, uh, this is this is available right now. You can use it right away. The way you can use it is go to Claude.ai. Once you go to Claude.ai, you would see the screen. It says talk to Claude and you can either continue with email, sign up with your Google account. And once you sign up with your Google account, it is going to ask you certain details like add your name. What do I call you? And it comes up with the default Albert Einstein. I don't know why, who came up with this idea. After that, you have to enter your phone number because I don't think like they want you to make multiple accounts with the same phone number. Strange because they have got a limit. So they want you to add the phone number very similar like chat GPT. And once you do that, the next step is for you to accept the terms of some terms of services. Then you would reach this place where you can chat with Claude. Now, the biggest question is, hey, I already use free chat GPT. Why, uh, I have got Google Bard and uh, in this lineup, why should I use Claude? This is a very valid question. If there is one reason, if there is like one important reason why you should use Claude, and I know a lot of people who use Claude, in fact, they pay for Claude Pro is the context window. Claude sometime back announced a 100K context window. That means you can upload a big document. Let's say like you have got like an investment advice, you've got a product documentation, you've got something like huge, like 100K, 100 tokens, uh, 1000 tokens. For context, GPT-4 is 8000 tokens. A lot of large language models that we deal with is still 4000 tokens or something around that. So Claude can access up till 100,000 or like, you know, close to nine from 9,000 to 100,000 token. And uh, I think that's where the biggest difference comes in. And they've got like multiple demos where you can ask Claude to act like a business analyst. You can upload a document, ask question, ask follow up question. And that is all possible because Claude has this large context window. Now, whenever I say large context window, people immediately start thinking, oh, I can generate a story. I can generate a movie script. Hold your thoughts there. Typically, large language models start hallucinating once you go beyond a certain context window limit. Not necessarily a problem with context window, but that's how large language models have that coherence. And that's why we, we have seen a lot of uh, yesterday. In fact, like we saw MemGPT primarily because we know that, um, you know, handling that coherence for large context window is really difficult. So if you were to use Claude for a large context window, you should consider only the input aspect, not the output aspect. So upload a PDF, get an answer. That's good, but not necessarily like for you to generate a book or ebook or something, which you can still do it, but I'm not saying you should not do it. It's just that it's not ideal for those use cases. And especially given that Claude inbuilt supports the PDF uploading, it's well and good. So Claude has got a pro more pro subscription like chat GPT plus, and it's $20 per month plus tax. That is also available for 95 countries and uh, you can level up. I went ahead to see what, what does it offer? I, I couldn't like see like a strong value other than, you know, it gives you more usage and all the other things. Like for example, on the other hand, if you see chat GPT, I think they've kind of understood pro model saying that, okay, only GPT-4 um, is available um, for pro subscribers and uh, plus subscribers and the vision and um, uh, DALI, but Claude is not like that. If you still have a lot of documents to analyze, for example, you are in the business of reading a lot of big documents, maybe it's helpful. Anyways, that's that's about all the things. Now we should start using Claude. So the first thing that we can ask is like, we can start a very simple chat. 
we can say help me write a beautiful essay about why one little coder is the youtube channel you should watch to learn and keep yourself updated about AI. send this message and once you send this message it's going to create the uh, the essay and i think right away out of the box you would have noticed that this is faster than chat gpt as you can see the tokens per second is quite fast this is almost like whenever we have tried llama 2 with perplexity or some other uh, websites um, it is almost like that right the the point here is that it is well it uh, it's 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 a good model it's a decent model and uh, it does it does a really good job in coming up with this essay i don't see a stop button anyway so maybe you have to create like a new chart so the way you can create a new chart is go click that icon and then you can create a new chat now what i want to do is i want to upload a pdf and then ask it to answer some questions so let's upload this paper the mem gpt paper that is something everybody likes and uh, ask claude some questions so i've got this paper downloaded i'm going to go to claude click this icon and then click upload it started uploading as you can see and once the upload is finished you can start a new chat for example i can ask can you summarize this document and just simple question can you summarize this document and it is going to go through the document and it is going to help us summarize starting and you can also ask follow up questions i think that's where it um, it it has like a stronger advantage especially if you want to learn papers uh, i think this is like one of the easiest way for you to do so it says mem gpt is a novel system that teaches llms to manage their own memory and it introduces memory hierarchy and um, it evaluated blah 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 and uh, let's ask a question so one thing I very well remember from this paper is they introduced a new framework, um, something related to retrieval, deep retrieval memory. And uh, let's ask, did, did they introduce any new framework for evaluating mem GPT? Something about retrieval. I, I just gave a clue. So say, saying something about retrieval and uh, let's see if it can actually figure out from the document, what is that framework that they launched um, released as part of the paper okay uh, that's nice so it says that they propose and propose deep memory retrieval task test to test the consistency that is that is really really good does it work with llama 2 so in the limitation they had very clearly mentioned that it doesn't work well with llama 2 because llama 2 um, doesn't make good function calls and let's see what uh, claude actually answers okay it it says the authors note that llama 2 llama model struggled with gen struggle to generate valid function calls this is again really really good so at the end of this video you know one thing if you were to use claude you should use it primarily to analyze pdf documents i think this is this is super brilliant in it and um, you know you can basically understand the documents ask it to explain it in a way that you don't understand ask it to give you a uh, summary ask questions and i think that is the biggest advantage claude has got due to the context the longer context window that is it has got and claude is right now available in 95 countries both claude free plan and the the pro plan all you have to do is go to claude.ai and if you are in europe i'm really sorry it doesn't seem like they really support um, european countries at this point um, maybe I'm wrong, like just just if you go through the list and then see if your country exists or doesn't exist, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.